And now the moment we all have been waiting for, I certainly have. What have we actually developed together with our partners? I'm Hannu, Product Manager for Exposure Management, and it's great pleasure to showcase our proactive security solution in action. It's called With Secure Elements Exposure Management. It features three easy steps to keep your exposure at bay. Discovering your digital estate, prioritizing the findings, and acting to lower your cybersecurity risk level. Here is an example company that we will be using in this demo. So Arkisan's company, Medium Pharma, so to speak, with varying set of digital assets, so so-called hybrid environment, and IT services provided by Data Fellows Security, and I'm now playing the role of that company here. And I guess let's go the first step. So discover the digital estate of Arkisan's company. Here I have the familiar Element Security Center open. And under the left-hand menu, there is the environment where we have discovered or mapped the whole digital estate of Arcturance company. So there are devices, cloud, network, identity assets there. And this particular menu is a devices menu. <coughs> And for instance, if you have already XDR deployment in the devices, the agent, you have the devices already here. You can just activate the scans there. And similarly, we can go to any other asset type to manage the assets like identities. Here are the identities of that company coming from the Entra ID directory. And uh, we can also assign business context to these assets. So Daniel Smith, I know for a fact that he is the chief financial officer of that company. So I would call him a risky asset in terms of cybersecurity. So let's assign some context there. So let's increase his importance in terms of the prioritization. And Mark comment that he is CFO. Like, just like that. And now it's taken into account in our prioritization engine scoring system. OK, then let's click the exposure menu, see what's there. So as there are all these attack surfaces available, you might imagine that when you run the scans, there will be lots of findings. And in this case, we have 20, over 20,000 of findings. So the logical next question is that, how are we actually doing? Is this a good thing or bad thing? Should we be doing something next? And what that next is? And that is actually the heart of the exposure management to answer to those questions. So it, this brings us to step two, which is prioritize. And let's go to the home screen of exposure. So here in this dashboard, we have the answers to these questions. How are we doing? This uh, organization exposure risk score on the left hand side gives you an answer. and it does seem quite high, over 80. And there is also a benchmark score there. And now in the early access phase, uh, we are using just like average of all the customers. But going forward, there will be more options to benchmark your own score. And uh, what should we be doing next? Where to focus on? We have two different lenses to answer that question. First lens is the highest risks. Simple as that. And also, we have this asset lens that which assets are most at risk. And there is also this nice diamond shape which outlines the like, risk level per each attack surface type. And there we can see that devices is the highest at the moment. And now, the next logical question again is that how are we doing this? How are you able to create this type of screen? So basically, we have created a scoring system for all attack surfaces, to bring all the attack surfaces on the same level. Then we are grouping similar findings together into these recommendation, actionable recommendation groups. 
and most notably, we are utilizing our partner co-developed AI-enabled attack, sim attack part simulator. And that will affect the scores if you are able to reach the asset or the asset is able to, by breaching that asset, you are able to uh, jeopardize some other asset. We are also using the threat intelligence information and the business context, just like what we earlier added to the identities. All right, so the score is quite high, so probably we should be doing something. So that's a nice segue to step three, act. So let's take the highest risk there, update Windows to version 21H2. And now we have the description here, the related asset, related findings to this risk or recommendation. And we have several options what we could be doing now. One is do it yourself. So I could take these instructions and start fixing it myself. Or I could use Element Software Updater to apply the patches directly where that is available. And we see it's not yet available. Uh, then we could elevate this to WitSecure for WitSecure to take a look and validate the finding and bring more insights to the matter. Or we could contact uh, con our colleague at the Arcturus company to take a look at it and do the actual remediation activities. And uh, let's do just that in this case. So here's an email constructed out of the description that we had. And we will send that to our colleague. And she will take a look and work inside the Archisrans company to uh, remediate. And obviously, it, there's some overhead in that. And after uh, the deed has been carried out, then uh, we will refresh our scans and go to the home screen to see what's the thing there. So now we see that exposure score has gone down below 80. Very nice. Uh, the recommendation is missing since the, it has been fixed. There is no issue anymore. Uh, diamond shape devices risk level gone down. Very nice. But still, the risk level is high and above the similar organizations. So probably still something should be done. And from the diamond shape, we see that cloud and identity are quite high on risk. And nicely in the assets list, our CFO seems to be the number one problem. So that might be the logical next thing to fix. But anyways, this is a like continuing process. and. Uh, Threat landscape does change. Uh, corporate environments is in flux. So this needs to be done continuously. And uh, I cannot now demo the, like the full continuous activity here. And we are happy to demonstrate at the demo booth more with the real implementation there. Um, and yes, please come to the booth to discuss and see the real demo there. And we have this solution already available for early access. So please join in. And now you've seen it, our proactive security in action. It's powerful and holistic tooling to understand the cybersecurity risks of a company. Thank you very much. Thank you, Hanu, for this insightful presentation and showing and giving the demo. My is pleasure. there? We have one moment for a question. If, if there's someone willing to ask a question, okay. And if not, um, I think you will join the demo boots as well. Absolutely. Um, as mentioned previously, we have the exposure management boot over there. We have a boot uh, about the XTech simulation game. Please visit that as well. We will continue on this stage at a quarter past two uh, regarding the services. We will close this stage now, uh, and we will go to the main stage where we will continue with the official opening of Sphere 2024 at one o'clock. Thank you.